ben Danielle en ik kom voor een uh, leuk kapsel en een mooi kleurtje. Oké, okay. dit is Danielle en ze wil een nice short hairstyle en ze wil een lovely color. So that's why she's here. Danielle, wil je het doen voor jou en de rest van de wereld? Wil je een rondje draaien alsjeblieft? Oké, okay, dank je wel. Hallo friends on YouTube, ik kan het doen Danielle is er. And uh, normally she models for Patrick. I tell you also in the lines who is Patrick on YouTube so you can find her and his videos. But she could not on the appointment she had, so that's why she's here. And sharing is caring. Give her a wonderful trendy cape. I never did her hair, I saw her a lot of course, I saw also the videos of Patrick. So I'm going to watch what kind of hair I have, how thick it is, it's a lovely thick hair. By starting wetting the hair and then going to start. Yeah, but it's also hair. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. The spray also on the hair, a bit conditional spray. This is not a conditioner with silicone in it, it's just pure, pure conditioner. I mix it with water, so I have a better condition of hair to start with, and the moist stays into the hair while I'm working. Watch at the fall of the hair. Now she has lovely hair because on the crown area not jumps up so it's very nice to get high lines high up and the skull is also in this shape so it travels real high up so before the curves are starting i have a wonderful line starting on the left side will certainly make a disconnect on the right side and make a nice short frame on this side now i start on the her left side by taking off some hair. Knowing that she lost short hair. Don't force the hair fall. Getting around the ears. Lift the hairs up in the opposite lines. So I watch at the hair fall, which is very important. Leave a little bit of side beard. With my clipper in the coming position. I clean the contour line. And I make a connection to the shorter upper hair. The nice thing about, about her thick hair is that you can make it nice, short and still have a wonderful hairstyle. Not classic. Always pulling, pushing on the hairs. Set them straight up. So that's why they get the same length. I don't like uh, clipper combs. Don't work often with them. Only on little children and little boys. And I love to watch how the hair falls off. And how it gets the best shape in it.
coming on the skull bone, center of the skull. In her case, the hairs lay a little bit to the left and then travel to the right. Then again in a common position, watching at the hair fall and travel in the opposite lines. So get the movement of the hair and get straight into it. You see how lovely your nape shape is and the nape has a beautiful natural shape. So I can use that into my hairstyle. Coming to the longer side. Now I can have to part this because now I have to know where I'm going. So I take away the clips. And now I get to get to the disconnect line. Creating myself a nice sharp line. Knowing that I have to work till I get on the back. But I want also a shape in it so you see from the back that's a women's hairstyle ultra short. Coming to the line of disconnect, so you see a straight line to the front, bending to the center of the skull bone on the back. Again, pushing with my flat comb against the hair fall. Table clipper to the back. Clean the contour and the facial lines. The sides I will color a little bit darker, so more, more contrast in it. And it of course I give her a nice trendy color. Ik ben klaar van de cake. <laughs> ja, dat zou wel zijn. Oké, okay, wat zonder licht over de straat. Misschien dat ik dan een keer niet aangereden word. <laughs> nee. Talk about the uh, color of the cape. She wants it in the color of the cape. But, <laughs> but it's just for fun. Because then she can go freely over the, uh, on the streets without uh, not being noticed. You can see her in the, in the dark then. Because she will be glowing in dark. I have that color. It's the color of Pravana. So if you want this, you can get it. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I certainly used it one time on young children or young girls. My first part of the haircut is ready, so now I clean the contour with a small clipper of Kiona and then I'm starting on the upper hair. The small clipper of Kiona comes with two blades, one of metal and one ceramic. I love the ceramic blade. It works ultra gently. It gives a nice smooth line. 
without irritation of the skin. Mooi zacht uit de geluid, hè? Jawel, ja. Using the natural lines to create a nice neckline. Get rid of the woolly hairs. They always stay as woolly hairs, so you don't have to be afraid by taking them away. But that's ons in the can in the Toys that no do. Is there a bite for terug? I zou het wel wat zijn, niet? Ja, stoelen. <laughs> Nieuwe feministische lijnen. Leuk met kleurtjes erin. Ja. Glitters. Dat doet hard. <laughs> Free the hair. Now watch what I have. Part myself the first line. Knowing that I want some length at the front, but not totally in her face lines because she gets irritating by a lot of hair, but a totally free um, open face she don't like. This is the line I'm going to work on. Lady hair is in a natural fall. Want to get to this point. Using my Kione scissor with extra grip. So this has micro teeth. You can hear it when I'm cutting. You can hear snapping of the hairs. Taking them up without pulling on the hairs. Gently controlling the line. Je hebt wel een mooie haar schot, heel mooi ja, gesloten. Dat is een goede, goede kop haar. Ik ben ook heel blij met de tip die jij hebt gegeven voor de shampoo. Ja. Ze waren echt aan het zoeken. Ja, dat is echt super belangrijk, ook voor die medium. Die goede shampoo gebruikt. Want anders ben je ze iedere keer aan het plasticiseren, dat is ook zielig. Ja, en ze is van jullie op de hoofd. Ja. Coming to the center, and here I've got my, to find me a way, because you see, I have a turn into the hairs, and I want to get to this side, so take the hairs up, and it may be a bit jumpy on the back, of on the on the back, on the on the center of the skull. I don't mind that because I love the playable effect of it. Pointing to the center line of the neck. Give it a slight graduation. I come to the point where I want to go to, so I get here the shape that I want. This I like, jumpy effect. Gives playable effect, a lot, like it a lot. Come to the other side. You see that jumps up a bit. Pull the hairs to the back. Holding on the center line and on the connection line. Pulling them down. Both lines are almost similar to each other.
The only difference is that this line is getting to be straight and pointing to the point on the other side. They are in natural fall. Go in with my scissor. Holding it straight. Come by the center line. Make a nice connection. See how I love this? Like a flower. It falls out like a flower and that's what I love about it. So now I can go to the front. So yes. Lay all the hairs of the longer side over in the natural fall. Get into the longest part of it. Stable my blades with my left hand. Creating a nice strong line. Now go to the other side, part away a bit of the upper hair, free the fringe. <laughs> the fringe will be super trendy this uh, autumn slash winter, so you see them a lot to create it also. This is the same line as the chin line I'm working in, and go to the other side. Then lay the upper hair on it. And don't force anything, just leave the natural fall. Find me the connection to the longer part on this side. Take the longest part away. Go on with the fringe. Watch the under hair, so always take a half centimeter of hairs on it. They will always jump out. So I've also disconnect on this nice longer part of her hair. She has an open face, but she has also a bit hair on it. So it's a more trendy effect. So now I can go to the upper hair. Coming to the upper hair, take it up in the line of the fall, lay it every time back, take a new line, show that also from the side, lay the hairs back, And connect them to the line of cutting. Go over to once more time. So I'm certain that I've also cut all the dry ends of her. And stay using the roundings. So don't set out straight lines. Just get it to the shape. Yeah, I love this.
on the longer part, I have to get this shape into it. So my hand is laying to the center of the neckline. But I want to create this movement in it. So it's not a stiff hairstyle, just nice playable. And gives a round shape. Do this on both sides. So for so far the haircut. So now I can make her a collar. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bleach the upper hair. I'll do this with uh, six percent, that's twenty volume, just to get more power into the colors. Don't light the top ultra light. I light it up till I get to a bit orange color. Stay away from the short lines. But I want colors that are getting on her hair bright and shiny. So that's why I do this. Zit je altijd al kappen, zegt u? Maar? Nee, vroeger was ik Oké. Okay. Ja, ik ben een streel gebruikt. <laughs> oh, ja. Ja, je erover te beginnen. Ja. Ik nou, cover dit een beetje op en dan kan ik ook also color the sides in the same time. Because they will be a bit darker. Then I do with a toner. On one half percent. I so made me a toner black. It's got a nice strong frame on the sides. One half percent. This uh, zig volume. Somewhere around that. Slice, I could easily make wonderful tattoo lines afterwards. Now, over the boat lines, I spread the carton wig, which I'm certain that they stay apart. You see, already it lights it up. The toner doesn't have to sit this long, and I think that the bleach will only last for uh, 50 minutes or something like that. So it's all so coming together. Close this and then we're back when it's rinsed out. Okay, rinsed out the color. What I'm gonna do next is lay the upper hair aside. Take a bit a bit of gel, set in the darkest color. And this I can stick my foil on. So you can lay all the hair to this side. Lay the foil on the gel. So now I can work freely without getting the colors into each other. First color I'm going to work with is uh, a red. It's a, a nice pure red color. Put it on with uh, 6%, that's 20 volume. First set in the underlights, then take about a centimeter of hair, lay it on the foil. And now I'm going to work to the half center of the back, so to the point I had on the center here.
Also the colors in the red lines, copper lines and gold lines are the new trend colors of this autumn winter. And I love the combination with purple colors. Because they stick out wonderfully and they give an extra trendy effect. This line, as you can see how it goes, travels from the front into the center on the back where you get the longer part of Lac May. And because it didn't take out all the colors, you get something to stick the color on. So you need pigment to lay the colors on. And that's why I used it this way. And just let it be in this shade of blonde because it's enough. This is coloring. Then I close it, wait for 20 minutes, rinse it out. And then I'm back to show you the end result and styling of it. Okay, back from coloring. After 20 minutes I rinse it out. Give it shampoo and a conditioner. Put in a shaper just to protect the hair from the warmth of the dryer. I'm gonna dry it with the use of my fingers. Now I stop a bit, so now I think it finishes and I give this a bit more effect because now the red is laying all over the purple color and I want to get a little bit more movement in it. I use this thinning scissor, go in, in the line where I know I've made the cut. Blade without, without these I lay on the skull. Now blow this hair hairs out of the hair. And before I go styling it off, I will make a small tattoo lines in uh, the sides, so give it a more edgy effect. Now you see when you use a darker color you can nicely see the skin that's laying beneath it. So the lines are more visible. Somebody wants me on the phone. Just let it wait. I'll call back. In the console with my razor blade.
No, all you need is a styling product. Here for I use uh, a wax gel. Give it a bit of this punky effect. Make it jump the ground area. Be a little bit over the tattoo lines. Een haar of twee haartjes, weet je wel, die gaan altijd aan de andere kant staan. Dat is dan helemaal vrij zijn geweest. Ik denk van, ah, oh, kudde. Eindelijk. Ja, vrij. Goed bellen. En voor so far, this wonderful haircut and color. I thank you for being my model. See the videos of Patrick. Once again, his. YouTube channel in this video. Thank you for watching till next time. Yes, you may turn around to show the people your lovely new hairstyle. Dan mag je één keer rondje doorrijden, dan mag je aan de achterkant je hoofd een klein beetje naar voren laten zakken. Dan komen de kleuren en de lijntjes wat mooi uit. Ja, deze is mooi. Leuk. Dank je wel. Hello, I'm the hairdresser.